Hey everybody, Pastor Dan here. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I hope you were able to get shoveled out of your driveway so that uh, amidst all this snow, you could make it uh, to, the, to the store and work at anywhere else you have to go. I hope you are all staying healthy and COVID free and just generally having a good week. I want to take a couple minutes here in the first forward to talk to you all about this book, the Bible, or the Holy Bible, to be more specific. Um, maybe you've read it, maybe you haven't, maybe you've read parts, maybe you've read the whole thing. I'll tell you what, uh, I've read the whole thing, gosh, a few times now, um, and I will say I love this book. Uh, I've been reading the Bible my whole life. Uh, I've been getting paid to read the Bible. I've been reading the Bible uh, professionally, academically, career-wise now for, gosh, 16 years or so, a little less than half my life. Um, but as much as I love this book, uh, and as much as I've read it and grappled with it, there's still a lot of stuff in here that I struggle with, that I struggle to understand. Uh, maybe you can relate to this, but the, the Bible is not an easy book to read. It does not make it easy for us. Uh, you crack it open. I mean, my gosh, it's so long. Where do you even start? Um, then you start reading it, and it's so ancient. It's so foreign to us. It comes from a different culture, a different context, a different time, a different language. Oh, you're reading it. Uh, sometimes the, the language is so hard to grapple with. That doesn't help you come across some weird stuff. You know, like, like, what is all this about how to slaughter a goat properly or, or not mixing dairy with beef? So I guess cheeseburgers are out. There's some laws about, you know, shellfish and don't wear polyester. There's some really odd stuff in this book. Then you go a little deeper. You find some violent stuff in here, some things that you read and you're like, ooh, why is this in the Bible? Come across things that, um, at least on the surface, sound sound sexist or racist or even, you know, like xenophobic, homophobic, you name it. Um, we read things in the Bible that, that seem to conflict with some of what we uh, learn from science and some of what we believe about, about our world and how old it is and things like that. It is easy, as much as I love this book, uh, to find myself at times really struggling to get through it and really wondering, like, um, what is in this book for me? What does God have to say for me in this book? Is God even speaking to me through the Bible? If you can relate to that, if you have struggled as I have at times to read this book, um, then I want to tell you about another book that we are going to be reading together uh, starting up pretty soon. It is a book called How Not to Read the Bible. Um, this is a really good book. came out a couple months ago. Um, this is a book that is hoping to equip us and empower us to be better readers of this book. If you can kind of see, you know, how they go together. This book, just to give you a sense of, uh, of how to read the Bible, um, some of what's in here. Chapter one is titled, Yes, There Are Unicorns in the Bible. I mean, sign me up right there, right? <laughs> um, but this, this book... Um, it's split into sections, and different sections focus on different things. Um, there's a section about just all the strange stuff in the Bible, all the weird things we come across that kind of make us turn our heads and say, what? What are they talking about? That's in here. Um, there's a section on all that weird stuff in the Old Testament law. That gets covered in here. Um, Boys Club Christianity is the Bible anti-women. So that's, that's in here. Um, how do we grapple with, with the seemingly sexist stuff? Uh, there's, a, there's a part in this book called Jesus Riding a Dinosaur. Do we have to choose between the Bible and science? Um, there's a part in here called My God Can Beat Up Your God. Does Christianity claim all other religions are wrong? Um, and then the last part of this book uh, actually digs into the horror of violence in the Old Testament. If any of this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like things you've wrestled with as you've tried to read the Bible before, I really want to encourage you to sign up for this class, How Not to Read the Bible. It's going to be uh, co-led by myself and Pastor Alicia. It starts on February 1st. That's a Tuesday. The class is going to meet Tuesdays at 6.30 here at the church. It is a 12-week course, so basically February, March, and April, we're going to be working through this book together uh, every week here at the church. Now, a couple things. Um, one, uh, if you want to do this class, you got to get the book. Um, you got to be reading through it with us, and we have copies of the book available for sale uh, right at church. So next time you're at church, swing by the Connection Center, 10 bucks, you can pick up a copy of the book. That is cheaper than Amazon. 
Um, also, we are trying to make this easy uh, for parents as well, uh, parents of young kids. If you want to participate in this, uh, we're going to make that happen uh, too. We are currently working out plans to have childcare on Tuesday nights when we get together to read this book. So uh, your kids will be occupied. You'll be able to uh, focus, be part of the conversation, and be in this with everybody else. Um, that's good news for me as a young parent. So seriously, um, if you want to learn more about this book, if you want to be a, a better reader of this book, I highly encourage you to join with us as we read this one, How Not to Read the Bible, Tuesday nights at 6.30 here at the church. There's a button below this email uh, in the first four. You can click that to sign up or get more information. 6.30, Tuesday nights, starting February 1st. Let us know if you're interested. I will see you at church this Sunday. Until then, grace and peace.